evening, welcome to Ben TV. My name is Steve Pereira. We're visiting with Helena Nestroy, who is a sex coach. We all know that every man and every woman's secret desire is really to become the best lover in the world. And what Helena does is help us do that. So here we are in suburban Baldwin with Helena Nestroy. Welcome, Helena. Thank you. So what is it that you actually do as a sex coach? I help people have great sex. I specialize in ancient tantric practices and rituals that redefine really what it means to have great sex, what it means to create mutually nurturing and deeply satisfying uh, sex. So I teach my clients these beautiful tools and rituals of tantric lovemaking. I help them to create a much deeper connection, a much stronger bond with their partner. I, I help them create this, this, this beautiful, um, profound pleasure, um, lasting passion in their relationships. Because there is a lot of suppression around sexuality in our society. And I believe that we're all entitled to amazing, orgasmic, mind-blowing sex. So this is exactly, exactly what I do. I show my clients how to embrace their sexuality for the most amazing, mind-blowing, passionate experiences of their lives. Now, you use sex and sex therapy not in, so as, as a holistic, so it's about being better generally as a person and connecting more with people generally, because that's the heart of what Tantra is about, is about how you connect with other people. Exactly. So, so even though you, you, you focus on the sex, it's, it's about a more larger relationship building. Oh, exactly. Yeah. You cannot just concentrate on physical practices mm -hmm. and physical, I guess, techniques mm -hmm. in order to improve your sex life. It just doesn't work. This is why all these magazines out there promote five great ways to, um, I don't know, give your partner a better, better oral sex or seven new ways to do this or that in bed, but it just doesn't work doesn't change anything. We have to introduce our hearts, our minds, our, our souls into our lovemaking. We need to really turn sex into a very holistic experience. experience. There is no quick fix. There is, it, it's, it's a bit of a process of changing the body, of embracing sexuality on that very deep cellular level where we can use our breath to spread sexual energy through the whole body in order to experience these expanded, orgasmic, deeply nurturing experiences. So then we, that, then we can give that to our partners as well, which then creates deep union, profound intimacy, and that deep, orgasmic, ecstatic bliss together. So how did you get into this field? What inspired you to, be, to take this really alternative route into career? Yeah, my... I guess my personal motivation is really my, my own, my life story, what mm. happened to me personally. Because um, where I grew up, I grew up in Poland in a very devoted Catholic family where there was no talk, no conversation about sex. There was no proper sexual education. The only sex education I ever received was just this biological approach to our reproductive system. So I never learned anything about consent or boundaries or listening to my own body too, in order to embody that pleasure, embody that, that sensual aspect of myself. So this created a very dysfunctional um, relationship, relationship to my own body, to my genitals, where I actually perceived my genitals as dirty or sinful or shameful and nothing to really enjoy. So that basically means that I, I was using my body in order to give sex to my partners. I believe that my body belongs to them. So whenever they wanted to have sex, I had to give it to them, regardless of how I felt about it, how my body felt about the sexual experience. And so I experienced a lot of pain and discomfort, a lot of abuse um, in that sexual area of my life. And so that finally pushed my body beyond its limits and I ended up in the hospital. Really? Yeah. So that was a huge crisis in my life. I was, that um, trip I took to the hospital, to the emergency room was so scary. I, I was in more, more pain than I could have ever you know, imagined. I was completely paralyzed by pain. And I, I, I really thought that I would either die or never be able to have sex again. Fortunately, I was able to come back home the same day and I was actually fine. 
but this was such a scary experience for me. I knew that things had to change. I knew that. How old were you when this happened? What happened was my partner's um, penis hit a muscle inside of my my vagina. Muscle. It was a somewhere around my bladder. So that muscle muscle went into spasm, and it was so strong that my whole vaginal area was just paralyzed with pain. All right. Okay. It was a, yeah. It was a <laughs> very scary experience. How old were you when this happened? That was about three years ago. Oh, that was a lot. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So that that actually yeah. launched me into my tantric. Yep. Um, practice. Quest, yeah, in my tantric, tantric pra- practice. So on the way back from the hospital, I knew that things have to change mm. and that I needed to re-educate myself around sexuality. I needed to find new ways and new approach to sex. Because Can I just ask if you were practicing Catholic at that point? Yes. You are? So oh, how no, no, sorry. Practicing Catholic as you... Practicing Catholic, no, no. <laughs> you wanted to practice Catholic. No, no, I quit Catholic Church a long time ago, but I was brought up Catholic. Right. And that's where a lot of that suppression and shame and guilt around my sexuality came from that's right so no but i left church probably around 10 years ago so so yeah. so can you be catholic and have good sex i believe so how's that possible because as catholics we're told that sex is just for procreation it's not something to be enjoyed that anything to do with sexuality and our genitals is bad yeah you know we, we shouldn't even touch the genitals that's that's yeah that's that's true but i do believe that we can um, follow the beautiful principles of Catholic religion and be kind and loving and considerate. But at the same time, we can also embrace that sexual aspect of ourselves because biologically we are all sexual beings. God created us with genitals, with skin that is beautifully sensitive to touch. So we are capable of experiencing a lot of pleasure and we shouldn't be denying that aspect of ourselves, thinking that there's something wrong with it. Yep. It's a beautiful aspect of it's a, the most wonderful, beautiful way to exp- express romantic love between partners. So we should embrace that as sacred and beautiful. It's a lovely thought. We'd all love to do that. But just to come back to your story. So once you, um, you had your, your trauma, so how did you study to become a sex coach or, or, or tantric sex? And, and you were in Poland at the time? No, I was already here. I was in Australia. Yep. And... Um, so I started researching sexuality and I had heard that word Tantra before, so mm. I thought maybe maybe it's just something there. Mm. I, I started studying Tantra, I started reading about Tantra, I started attending different Tantric workshops and and I knew that I found something special. I just I just knew it. And so I took my first practitioner training through the Australian School of Tantra, in, which is based in Barron Bay. But the problem about Tantra is that there, is, there isn't one Tantra university where you can go and obtain all of your diploma degrees. I basically had to search and connect with teachers all over the world, with any, anybody who is a great authority or who has got a lot of experience in the world of Tantra. I, I studied Tantra with teachers from states, from Europe, from New Zealand, from all different places in Australia. So I had to sort of follow my own path. But also Tantra is something that gets used a lot and people use it. So there's a lot of charlatans around. There's a lot of people who don't, really don't know what they're talking about. That's so true. quality control becomes an issue. How did you f- figure out who was actually... Oh, good and authorized to speak to to teach you tantra by following their teachings by mm-hmm. by, le- by maybe attending some workshops first mm-hmm. and learning about the person i've been receiving uh, sessions from them as well just to find out where they are at you know their level of, of integrity their level of experience mm-hmm. and and commitment to this path so you just have to learn for yourself you have to or getting word of mouth recommendations from other people that i respect in this field so definitely that's what's been happening. And recently um, I've been studying with the Institute of Somatic Sexology. So I am at the moment one month away from being certified as a, sex- Thank you. <laughs> as a sexological body worker. And this, this school, uh, this training gave me amazing tools to really support my clients even better with healing sexual trauma, with, giving my, with guiding my clients um, who experience any sort of sexual issues or, or problems. Thank you. You've been watching Steve Pereira on Ben TV in suburban Baldwin, where we've been talking sex with a fabulous Helena Nestroy.